Hello everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us on the final part, thank god, of the uh, Sonic Lost World um, LP, and we are now joined by everyone's favorite punching bag, Donny. Woo! Hi guys, welcome to the most random and fucked up world in, in all of this game. This is Punchy Sonichu's land. Donny, wh why do you keep hanging out with these people who mock you all day? I don't know, I, I blame Gary, you know? <laughs> I don't even watch HFC! Now, um, the, the hidden world, or like this drug-infused nightmare that we're currently in, so this just randomly unlocks after you beat um, Lava Mountain, doesn't it? Yeah, after you beat the story, like, Sonic goes back and you get the ending, you'll unlock this world, even though it is completely random and completely unfitting to the rest of the game, but it's just... Which, to be fair, most of, most of the uh, levels are kind of like this, like, you know, Desert Ruin, and she like, doesn't really fit in at all. Yeah, I, I just love how we go from this, this like this hellish world with this giant layer to Rubik's Cube. No, isn't isn't the only way to defeat this level is to just let the time run out? Uh, um, yeah, this is more of a grinding level than an actual level per se. You're basically gotcha. just getting time bonuses forever. I think eventually maybe it does just kick you out, but because I remember I did this for like ages, and then like I was like I'm bored. <laughs> Well, see, no, the, the, the thing was that I, um, my copy of Lost World, I, I was playing Chris's version. Chris had already completed the entire game, because um, I was using his, his Wii U as well. So, like, again, I wasn't aware, like, I thought I just got kicked out of the level, and I was like, oh, okay. I got killed. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, if you want to keep going on with the other levels, you can just go in this one and wait out to 30 seconds, and then it'll just unlock the next level. Even if you don't collect a single ring or flicky, it's... It was flicky grinding before they made the uh, Zelda level. <laughs> I will say though, I do kind of like this track. The do -do 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 yeah, I really like it. Yeah, I like it too. I'm just still trying to comprehend the fact that we were on giant Rubik's Cube. <laughs> <laughs> and they have eyes. Yeah. Well, it's like Zomom had like a giant Rubik's Cube face thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for some reason. He had like Andros, like 8 bit Andros for some reason. <laughs> Yay! We beat it! We're gonna play Super Sonic! <laughs> no, we're not. Not yet. So. Yeah! Tornado time! This would have been a cool. Like, if the aesthetic wasn't like this, I'm not sure why they didn't just go ahead and just do the first stage of the game like this, since you were already on a plane. I don't understand why the Sky Road levels aren't this, you know? That's another good point. I'm glad they remixed Tails' theme, though. That's that's nice. I do love how they added that theme, and it's a nice level. I like it. Definitely mm. different from the rest of the game, and I'm, I'm all for that. Keeps the replayability alive, so... So you like the snowball level, is what you're saying? Uh... So you're not a true Sonic <laughs> fan, so I should just trash you on Ask FM? <laughs> <laughs> Assuming people don't already do that, which they do, but, you know... <laughs> um, I'm going to open it right now and send you one. Just for that. <laughs> and then five hours later, I'll answer it and I'm like, wait, what? When the hell did I get this? <laughs> uh, one, one kind of thing um, about this is that this is the only uh, track in the. June Sonoya is actually playing the, the, the guitar on this track. Oh, that's cool. Which is, it is only in. Um, that happens a lot with. Um, if June isn't the sound director, if they have like a remix of his tracks, he will, he will come back and re, re record stuff for it, which is kind of nice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, this level. It's. I would, I would much rather play the uh, Sky Chase in SA One. I'd even be down for playing the um, Unleashed Tornado sections mm. before this. But this is it's, it's nice. It's inoffensive, you know. Like at this, the stage isn't annoying or frustrating. It's just kind of, it's just kind of there, you know. But I would have taken more levels of this than the over the. Uh, Sky Chase, and you you scored, you completed that crash by the skinny of teeth, yeah. my friend. I wish all the Hidden World levels were all just, like, reference levels to old, like, adventure tropes and styles. Like, there could have been a knuckle stage. Because I don't get why there's just one stage that's a cool throwback, and then the other three are what-the-fuck levels. <laughs> Especially the last one. <laughs> oh, well, that's kind boy. of a retro throwback level, just not the Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> or anything, really. 
See, Sega knew beforehand that Pac-Man was going to be in Smash, so they thought, yep, let's do that. Let's get this partnership going early. Just remember this partnership is only temporary! <laughs> See, I think this is an okay level. I mean, it has some interesting ideas to it. I agree. I think this is actually one of the one of the better levels in the game. Mm -hmm. It's it's unique. It's got a nice gimmick. Again, the the, the music track's pretty good. Um, I actually have no. I would have much rather this be, um, like one of the levels somewhere. You know, like you could you could have easily changed the background. Well, see, if if you actually look at the background, we're clearly above desert ruins. Cause look, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the, the, the kind of like candy cane things in the background. So we're I, back I, in Zomom's mind. Pretty much. <laughs> okay. That's kind of dark and grim when you think about it. The city. <laughs> All he thinks about is food. Just like me. Let's hurry up so we can eat him! <laughs> yeah, this is another level I like. Like, this whole, the whole world as it is, just... It's, it's so original and pretty and... Pretty and... <laughs> and pretty! <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty. So um, this, so this level is the uh, the video game level equivalent of Sobo. There's no level smarter, <laughs> faster, or prettier than this level. And it's almost too easy. <laughs> <laughs> nice callback there. Um, thank, thank you. Thank yeah, you. I mean That's it's. I, yeah, I mean, I would have taken the whole zone like just. I don't want to say this stage gimmick, but. I'm glad this is in the game, is what I'm trying to say. Because yeah, I yeah. I forget about this level, but looking at it, I, I have a lot of fun when I play it. It's got it's got a good length. It's um it's, it's got a good idea. It's it's you know a pretty interesting interestingly uh, well made. Um, it's not frustrating like the uh, the next one we're gonna see. <laughs> but uh, you know, I would I would happily have played more. See, this is this is one of the most frustrating thing about Lost World. There's there's Really good ideas sprinkled out here and there. They're just overshadowed by the monotony of the more overused, boring ideas. It's kind of like the um, dragon level in Sky Road, and it's one really good level sandwiched between three not so good ones. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, like I don't. I kind of agree with that, but I would say that overall, this world is a lot less inoffensive than Sky Road. Like, Sky Road 1, again, it's, it's just Windy Hill. It's just Windy Hill again. Mm. Um, I was just thinking then, pure level layout. Hmm. Like, I, I definitely had an easier time playing this game than a certain spin-off that followed, but I mean... <laughs> Mario I, and Sonic I, at the Olympic Games? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. How did you guess? Uh... <laughs> Man, the, the was it the freaking uh, curling sections were just so annoying, you know, like... <laughs> Which, you know, Tony, I, I, don't think, I don't think I've spoken to you about this. What are your thoughts to go off on, on, on a quick tangent, because the next level we're about to play is going to be a bit terrible. But what are, your, what are your thoughts on Boom? Uh, Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, I played a few hours of it, I think around four. The Hub Worlds, I hate them. Um, yep, too big, <laughs> far too big. It's too freaking big! <laughs> I spent a good, I think it was 40 minutes, um, uh, I can't remember which hub world it was, but it was Bygone the one, Island? Yeah, it was the one where you're having to, you encounter the mayor, and he's one Yeah, by, I think everyone had a problem with Bygone Island. Yes. Um, Chris, do you want to quickly explain what the hell we're looking at? Uh, as soon as I stop looking at Doug episode tweets. Okay, so, <laughs> <laughs> we're back in Zomom's mine with, um, imprisoned Pac-Mans, and we are trying to let them go. And we have to choose which ones we can save. Okay, this um, is what uh, I'm no, saying. Uh, I, I, I don't know how to explain this level. <laughs> you know what? The thing, because in the back, those are clearly the uh, the Desert Ruin things. I wouldn't be surprised if Desert Ruin was its own world at one point. You know? Because you, you, we, we have three. We have this one. We have the you know Desert Ruin, the Desert Ruin Act 2, and the previous level we just did all kind of... Like, fit kind of in a at least aesthetically I don't know this is so much about this game it's just kind of weird you know like, again we said it before but we, I wouldn't be surprised if say all of the uh, Windy Hill-esque levels were meant to be one zone and then all of the kind of uh, all of the underground um, tube sections were supposed to be one zone as it were but then it's like, like late in production they just kind of changed the background on some of them to make a match maybe they were all supposed to be one big long level and they just kind of 
piecemeal them out in between the zones too. It's like we can make this four different stages. Just change the graphics. Kids love girl. Uh, what the hell is this? Guys, this is my self-insert fan character. I made him when I was three, so don't make fun of him. I won a contest. Pack, pack the man. <laughs> original, original the Pac-Man. Do not walk Oh, like, like, what the hell are we looking at here? I need to stop looking at those tweets. <laughs> this thing creeps me out in more ways than it really should be creeping me out. Which is none. Because I wouldn't expect this. <laughs> I would not expect something like this in a Sonic game, but you know. I wouldn't expect something like this in any video game. Ever. Ever. Is it a hamster? It has Zomom's teeth. What kind of fucked up hamster are you looking at here? Gerbil. Dr. Hamsterville. Dr. Hamsterville. <laughs> oh. Fuck that guy. <laughs> this, is, this is vile. But hey, I won. And Sonic's stuck on that circular platform now for the rest of his life. <laughs> Tails will save him. Tails always saves Sonic. What a hero. It's just like... Like... The... <laughs> That's such like an anticlimactic end to the game. It's like here's a you know, fucking Pac-Man like, level. Have fun. Yeah, like that level just makes no sense. To be to be fair, the uh, the end, actual like story ending felt kind of underwhelming as well. So I mean, well, um, something I, I didn't bring up a bit because well, these levels suck, so I'll bring it up here. In terms of the um the script, this was the first third game that they again the writing team of Ken Pontac and Ron Graff wrote. So though, unlike Colors and Generations where Sega came to them with the basic story outline. So Sega were pretty much like, here's what's going to happen, write some cutscenes about it. This was the first time where they actually came up with the basic plot of the game. Um, I mean, obviously stuff like the Deadly Six were already there, and like the Lost Hex itself, but like, they were the ones who came up with, you know, like, uh, Tails being kidnapped, and, and like the whole working of Eggman part was, was their idea. And many people have noticed that the uh, Super Sonic Hooray! Yeah. People have noticed that um, the ending feels a bit rushed. I was just like, yeah, we're back! Oh, let's go lay down on some nice grass. <laughs> and they they have said that, um, they pretty much said that, yeah, I mean, if, if you don't like that, that's, you know, blame us, not Sega. Because that was, that was more our doing, like, of how quickly everything kind of just wraps up. Yeah, because to be fair, a lot of people just immediately blame Sega for everything, even though they don't always work on every single aspect of the Sonic games, so I mean... I've seen people blame Sega for Mario games, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, I say in terms of, like, we were talking about this earlier in terms of the um, script, a lot of times when, um, like, say, in this and Boom, it talks about how, like, there's, you know, there's cut content, things that don't really make sense. Like that, I, I tend to not sometimes blame the writers for that because like it's confirmed that they've you know written more stuff that has to be cut down. So it's kind of like, I guess at the end of the day, the only person you can really blame is just Chris because I did right. design this game. My, did you see my name in the credits last part? Or Skyler, because Skyler is responsible for episode two. So you know, it follows suit oh. that I make the next most disappointing game. You know, you know what's weird is that for some reason this is the only like. I, you know, like, I don't, I don't know why they put these extra levels in here, but for some reason, this one gets an entirely original, nice orchestrated piece of violin music. I'm like, it's, I like it. It's kind of nice. I'm guessing it was made in, on a computer, though. Um, no. Um, in Lost World, with the exception of cutscene tracks, everything in a level is real instruments. Oh, I guess I need to actually look at the booklet then for the soundtrack. Which again, this, this to me feels like this, sh like this should be an actual level in Sky Road. Because you're in the sky, you know? I don't know, this level just feels to me like, hey, we got some new designers on board, let's just give them some basic level objects and stuff and just let them make some levels. And so, okay. again, again, to me, it feels like Sky Road was going to be like um, the dragon level, the, um, the one in the air, the extra one in the air and this would have made like, you know, like a fairly... That's what I'm thinking, like the... Uh, I'd be I'd be so shocked if the level order wasn't changed during production. Also, just just to bring up Supersonic, this is my um, this is my favorite Supersonic theme purely because it it doesn't just last ten seconds. Same. I wish there was someone we could ask about design stuff like that with the level order, though. 
Yeah. If, you, you know who we should get on? Aaron Webber. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe um, we are going to ask him someday. Maybe. Wait. But, Wait, if Chris had all to do with this game, why don't we just ask him, you know? Uh, he was drunk through most of it, he doesn't remember. <laughs> That's right, man. <laughs> hey. No, Chris, Chris, you were drunk, not on drugs. What's an alcohol? I, I'd like one drug, please. <laughs> um, Hello, police. I, Hello, police. I'd like one have, drug, please. So, have either of you guys played Knights? Uh, I, years ago, at, at the... Uh, Sega World in London, I played Knights for a few minutes and greatly enjoyed it, but I have, that's pretty much my extension of the Knights franchise. I played the Knights Pinball Table in Adventure DX, as I can. <laughs> <laughs> that was also in Adventure 1. Um, I believe so, yeah. It was, I know. <laughs> the, to be fair though, I consider this feels like the weakest of the DLC because it's just pretty much, hey, it's the same bosses you've already countered, but now they're themed. It's crazy to me that the DLC for their, you know, another series they own is the laziest, and the one for the series they don't own are the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say visually, like, I wish, like, I know we, we've, I mean, this is like, good, good boss. Um, like, we talked about how, how some of the, um, levels don't make any, like, in terms of the backgrounds don't make any sense. At least this is so crazy, it actually looks fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It kind of has the time eater thing going on. Yeah. Now, is this music, is this a remix of a music track, or is this it's a from, song um, taken from Nights? It's from Journey of Dreams. It was a remix of the original um, Riala boss fight music, who's oh, gotcha. Knights' shadow, I guess, kind of character. So they just reused music from 2007, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I do, I do like how it looks, though. I mean, color wise, graphic wise, it looks amazing. Some six, six animation. He can just jump off the thing, but he doesn't. Yep. He just goes, "Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god!" We're now in sepia tone. This DLC kind of yep. bothers me because, like, Sega could use Knights as, and make like a downloadable game and put it out, and I'd be so happy because. All the Knights aesthetics of this level really, really please me, because I want another Knights game really badly, and I hate feeling like this is the best I'm going to get. Well, I would say, like, it's not it's not great, but I would just say at least, like... At least it's something. At least, yeah, at least they're yeah. acknowledging Knights. Like, at least they're doing something with it. Yeah. Because um, I, think, I think Sega know how much of a cult classic that game, like, that this franchise is. But I guess the, the Wii game did so amazingly well. You know, and ultimately, it's, 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 it's the same thing with um, Shenmue. It's like, they know how much like the fans want these games, but unfortunately, and this is something that some fans have a hard time understanding, the video games video games are a business. And so, as much as we may want something, Sega or any company won't put up, you know, because video games aren't cheap, you know, like... Um, yeah, because even um, Yu Suzuki, the Shenmue guy, like, I saw an interview like, just the other day, he's like, yeah, Sega yes, yes. wants to do it, we just don't have the money for it. <laughs> well, because uh, it's the thing where, like, I believe, something, something like Sonic, Sega, I mean, like, there's, you know, Sonic Boom notwithstanding, Sega knows Sonic, they will make their money back on a Sonic yeah. game. Like, that's, um, that's I, why I was saying I'd hope they'd make it a download game, though, just make it smaller. It only needs to be, like... Seven levels. I mean, well, I mean, well, I mean they, they 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 do the Knights kind of HD, re, you know, remake type of thing, which I love. Um, which I yeah. just have to I have to get that. But um, so like I think me, I mean, I, I kind of agree. Like you know, that they could maybe take a uh, less um, expensive approach and just do you know like a download game. But like um, Sega won't put money into a game where they where they're not sure if they'll make it back. Cause it, it's, you know what that is like people that smart business sense. You know, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's, probably, it's probably the same reason why, you know, the, the, you know, there was periods when Nintendo weren't making like Metroid games or Star Fox games or like F Zero games because they like the last few that maybe hadn't sold that well. And they're like, well, we can't keep putting money into these IPs that unfortunately just aren't just aren't selling. F Zero is Sega's fault. Everything's Sega's fault. Fuck Sega. <laughs> <laughs> please, please come on our OPs next time. <laughs> And now here we have the first of the um, entirely original zones, yeah, I, Yoshi's I, Island. I want to think about Nintendo now, not so Sega. Se thinking about Sega just makes me sad. <laughs> this so this was, this was, you know what's interesting? This is obviously done to kind of um, 
promote Yoshi's Woody World, a game that wouldn't be out for like almost two years after <laughs> this was released. This this game just makes my like my inner '90s kid just cry tears of I don't even when I found out about this because it's so not like Sonic and so not what I would have expected 20 years after that great console war that it's just like wow how far have we gone? Well, I would um Donny, I would argue that the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games is the uh, epitome of that. <laughs> I know, but this, but those weren't the actual like Sonic games. Those were like crossovers to promote the Olympics and all that. But this, this was actually would, in a Sonic game. I would say like, uh, I think both DLC levels are some of the best levels in the game. <laughs> like, the, yeah. This is this is for me probably one of the strongest two D sections in the entire game. Like like aste aesthetics aside, you obviously you know like we, I, I, I don't expect it to look like this, but. I think, you know, I, I had some of the most fun of this game with this and the Zelda stage. I think this is one of the weakest levels in the entire Sonic series. I think it's so absolutely basic that it bores me, but the aesthetics and music make up for it a little bit. Plus, it was free, but I don't I don't think yeah. it's interesting. That's, well, it's, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm saying it's interesting in relation to Lost World. I'm yeah, even within, within the, relation to Lost Within the context World. of this game, I, I would still say this is one of the, the better... But the levels to play. Uh, I think they're all equally, yeah. Yeah, like out of like out of all the levels in the game, I like I'd consider this and the Zelda one definitely to be my favorites because it's just so original and you can get quite a bit of an enjoyment out of them. And I don't know, it's just I just I don't understand why all the bonus stuff in the game, like the hidden world and and then there's and then the DLC, like all this is what they could have done in the original game. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot more people liked it as a result. It's just how unique it was and how mm. original, but I mean, it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's free again. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I the people who complain about this DLC, like, hi. It's free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, how you doing? Uh, welcome to the. If LP. you don't like it, don't play it. Mm. Maybe I won't. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Froggy. <laughs> I do like watching all those eggs pop of Sonic in the loop, though. <laughs> I'm waiting for my Sega Bass Fishing big DLC. This, this, yes, this is please. the closest, like, like, I know this is technically, um, Yoshi, but still, man, like, you know, Shy Guys, Piranha Pete's, this is the closest we're gonna get to an official Sonic Mario crossover platformer game. <laughs> to, I hate that the Shy Guy kick is the only way to defeat Piranha Plants, though. To be fair, the Yoshi's Island game started as a uh, like sequel to Super Mario World, so technically they are just... <laughs> that was in name only. <laughs> well, that's... Blame Nintendo for that. That was... That's just gonna be this whole part we just blame shit, you know? <laughs> Chris, you ain't gonna get those eggs. Leave it, leave it alone, man. Leave it alone. <laughs> I, I want to save everyone. Oh, well. Peter to like me. Look at all those extra lives, man. Three of Yoshi? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's that bonus at the end where you get all those lives. Probably the reason why you're not able to play this DLC all the time, so... Because <laughs> you can get would a crap the, would the, um, would the Yoshi music track, were they, were they original for this? Or were they, um... Or were they just, like, like, like uh, previously made? I know the remixes... I know the remixes of a track from the original Yoshi's Island. I think they were... Uh, previously used. I just don't recall what Yoshi's Island game it was that had that remix. I know um, um, on Facebook for this level, Tomoyo Otani actually said he did the remix, so I was kind of... He did. Uh, I was kind of assuming he did the Yoshi one too, but it, it might be reused. I don't know anything about Yoshi games. I have to say, man, uh, probably... I know this isn't saying much, but, you know, because it was the game that came beforehand, but... Not since generations have I just so happily geeked out over a Sonic level. <laughs> like, like I mean, I'm not. I am. I am by no means the biggest Zelda fan in the world. Just because not, not because I hate the franchise. Just because I haven't played all of the games. But I was so happy playing this, man. <laughs> I think. I think Chris, when we did the video, um, I mean, playing this for the first time. Not since playing Speed Highway Modern for the first time have I just had such glee <laughs> when playing a video game. You know. Yeah. I, I wish this level had another open world world part at the end that was even bigger. Like, oh, this is fun. I just want more. 
I wish he had Caliburn. That's my one. <laughs> uh, these are so these are so cool, man. These are so cool. They it's, couldn't afford to get Carrie always back. <laughs> it's weird because um we just did the uh we just recorded a, a brain scratch part where we finally went back and did these levels and um, I'm, I'm repeating myself because I'm just I, I very rarely geek out on, on these LPs but this this, this, oh, this, this is so cool I love this man. I very rarely experience joy while doing these LPs but I don't because I hate games and I hate my life but these are cool <laughs> yeah this level is just definitely my favorite out of the bunch just because of just how beautiful it looks you know, it really does show off the capabilities of the Wii U so well. And that cameo from Link is really amazing. 10 out of 10. You know, you know what I realized? Um, chickens. That Chiki. Chicken, yeah, chickens, but Cuckoo. also that... This, this DLC could be the very first HD Link model used in a video game. Because I was try- I was trying to think of, of like a Zelda a Zelda theme thing that came up before this, but like Smash wasn't out, Hyrule Warriors wasn't out, the uh, Link DLC in Mario Kart 8 wasn't out. Sonic Lost World has the distinction of having the very first you know official Link HD model. Well, that's backwards. I know, right? <laughs> it, it, I can't but wonder if, considering if the Yoshi DLC promoted Yoshi's Woolly World, and how that looks is almost very identical to the level itself. I can't but wonder if this is what we might see from the new Zelda game coming next no. year. No. <laughs> because I think, you know, from what little we've seen, it's it has a completely different art style. And it looks better if you ask me. This looks oh, yeah. good, though. <laughs> I do like no, how we're I collecting f- Soul Emeralds, so though. Wait. I'm glad <laughs> they replaced the boulders with Gorons. That's a really good touch. No, I forget, is this a original remix as well? I think so. I'm like I know I know the soundtrack came out like a year before this was released, but I'm so bummed we don't get the uh, the Sonic the I'm sorry the uh, Sonic Eye Zelda version. I had to do the bomb wisp at least once in this playthrough. <laughs> I was hoping they'd have the track out on iTunes eventually or something, but that might be a bit of a licensing weird nightmare kind of thing. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to just rip it off YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> Congrats, you fucked shit up with a bomb. You're now Bomberman. GG. <laughs> Unfortunately, as we've said many times, we couldn't hear the music. Or we could hear the music, couldn't we? Not in not in this version. We can't. But no, um, this came. This is version four, actually. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we should have. I have my audio muted. I, I just love this a banjo like. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like some kind of weird like yeah like with like country track. It's hysterical. Bomb wisp shouldn't exist. <laughs> None of the wisps. In the, and again, I love this. It's so cool. <laughs> That's a huge chest. <laughs> I wish they would have done some like Sonic Sonified like electric guitar version that they like burning it down. Open your heart. Open your chest. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> so like I know like um after the Zelda one came out there was people were thinking oh maybe we'll get another one but it, I would imagine this is probably it. Yep. Well this came out in April. It's December now so yeah. The Lost World's yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah, I think they they were promising more DLC for tr- Transformed as well, and that that didn't happen. So I mean, it, it well, came to PC. The, the PC version got like seven different characters. No one gives a crap about. No, I mean, like they promised even more than that. Uh, they didn't promise. They were saying if the sales of the game keep going, we can make more, but don't count on it. Then everyone's like, oh, that means there's more coming, and then we all cried. People can't read. Not to mention, they also had the the uh, petitions that they said, "Oh, if whoever gets like ten thousand signatures, will possibly consider them for DLC." But they were making a big deal about DLC. Then so. it got Ryu. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Shenmue, please get us money. <laughs> <laughs> then the Yogg's Cast character came and outsold Shenmue guy. One mm. one thing one thing that I like me, uh, me and the SP guys he's actually talked about. He's got the Triforce. Look at him, he's smiling. He's happy. That's, that's so cool. <laughs> a Triforce. Mm. Um, but really though, like I I spoke to the SP guys and and we all dis- like discussed how ASRT could have even been better if they had like uh, Hatsune Miku as a playable character, since how much her games have sold in Japan and even in the US has been quite impressive. So. 
we all we all know all we all that game needed was dynamite heady all right best cat out there ever um i forget oh i forget chris why are we replaying windy hill one now i'm showing off how supersonic performs in an actual level instead of gimmick levels oh gotcha good good job good job thank you oh, okay <laughs> i do like like as much as we've um talked a bit about the soundtrack i could listen to windy hill act zone one like all day every day i love this track so much mm -hmm. Yeah. Some people say it's boring, but I think it's one of the best opening Sonic songs. I think songs. those people are boring. Those people are dumb. <laughs> Stupid idiots. Like, it's not my favorite Sonic soundtrack, but it's definitely not the worst. Like, I could definitely name some Sonic soundtracks that are worse. <coughs> Chronicles. <coughs> but, um... If you can even call Chronicles a soundtrack, a soundtrack, anyway, but, you know. It's a giant wet fart. <laughs> now, Chronicles has one good track, the um the main theme slash battle theme four. Here we go, Super Sonic. So, I, I, I Chris, believe you mean the um, Doomsday remix, actually. <laughs> Chris, you want to explain how uh, Super Sonic handles in this game? Sonic Super Sonic in this game is Sonic Team's way of making up to all the people who have the boost. Um, he gets faster. Um, you can hold down the L button, I think, for the boost, and his spines default to normal Sonics when he's in spring mode. So he has a Sonic 2 issue of his spine's not always working right. And, um, <laughs> you know, overall, I mean, it, it's pretty much just regular Sonic, just a little faster. Oh, and the rings for Auto 1 too. How cute. I guess so. Again, his, his theme doesn't, isn't over in 10 seconds. In fact, they're very grateful for. Yep. So, Donnie, as, as we're nearing the end, um, how would you sum up Lost World? Um, for the most part, I, I really enjoyed it. Also, what the hell, Snowball? Uh, I'm it showing was okay. off that Sonic pisses in the snowball. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't become invincible. Yellow snow. He doesn't? All that happens when you do this is your rings go down and your snowball becomes piss colored. <laughs> yeah, like I, I. Wonderful. Yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed Lost World. It wasn't the best Sonic game, but for what it was nice, it was a nice little fun romp, you know. Nice little few hours I spent. Um, if I had to give it a rating, I'd, when I originally played it, my first impression was like 8, 8.5 out of 10. Now I would probably Damn, rate it like high. maybe a 7 around there. I like it for what it's worth. It's, like I said, a nice little romp. Okay, so maybe you do go invincible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Don, um, as about the NGF, anything upcoming you want to plug? Um... I do know something I could plug, but I've been holding off on it until Christmas Eve because fuck it. This isn't going. This this isn't going up too often then. So plug it now. Oh, uh, check out the Spinball and Mean Bean Machine playthroughs I'll be doing for Brain Scratch and FTCR. If they aren't off already by then. So did you use the same footage for those guys? No, you I have Sell out. I, as of, as of now, I haven't recorded it yet for Brain mm -hmm. Scratch. So as I'm, of I'm, now, you haven't copied the files onto their YouTube. Ah, huh. uh, Donny, you piece! I bet, I bet you, you're gonna edit out all the deaths and shit. Then he'll make them. a TSSZ news post like, "Check out these playthroughs I did for Brain Scratch," and then in like size one font. Also, on am find a computer room dot com. TSSZ, please give us money. Damn it, Donny, I hate you so much. FTCR is second at TSSZ news. Save it for Smash. Wow, you suck at Smash. I want to, I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for uh, watching this LP and, and putting up with Donnie for the last 32 minutes. But um, <laughs> thank you so much for joining the FTCR Lost Board LP, and we'll uh, see you again on another LP soon. I want to thank myself for not only recording myself playing this game two times, but playing it an additional two times as research. <laughs> Losing all of our commentary for the last play time we recorded this. And I want to thank myself for recording it all again here tonight. Fuck this game. I hate it. I don't ever <laughs> want to think about it again. Thank you for watching. Never come back. Goodbye.